Today we're going to be taking a look at some brand new cards that's going to take the 1-1 one -one counters and the backup game plan to a whole nother level. Today's deck list is going to be called Naya Power because we are going to be scaling our very small creatures early on into double digit power and toughness creatures very quickly. And how do we do that? It's a very simple game plan that we've established before. It's a very big Ozolith sort of game plan where we're doubling up on all the 1-1 one -one counters our creatures are getting. And we have tons of creatures that spit out 1-1 one -one counters we've seen before like Gala Greeters and the Brawler. But some new cards we have today are a Nim, which is going to get 1-1 one -one counters placed onto it and create some gnomes going really wide and if we can double up on the counters with this you know it gets out of control very fast and then we've also got Cutsel, a new card that's going to allow us to draw cards anytime a creature lands a shot on the opponent that has more power than it started with which is going to be our entire deck and then we've also got the sovereign which i really love this card it's essentially going to double the power on your creature's very quickly because it's gonna take whatever one one counters are on the creature and it's going to double them whenever this attacks on the battlefield which is really cool um especially when you got a board full of just absolute massive threats and then uh like i said we just run away with the game honestly with things like botanical brawler which is going to keep growing when everything else is growing a lot of cool backup cards in here as well um very fun deck but also a very consistent list that's doing very well for me um kind of a go-to at the moment for me right now it's a pretty fast aggro type sort of build but uh we're gonna jump right into it and you guys can watch for yourselves but if you are new here we do post videos just like this five days a week so if you guys enjoy this kind of content if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing i would greatly appreciate it but with that being said guys enjoy we'll see you all right ladies and gentlemen today we have a really interesting naya deck for you that's going to be quite powerful man it gets big really really quick and uh we've got a decent looking hand here definitely would like to see some more lands of course the opponent running out a red land though makes me a little nervous especially going second but we don't see a turn one swift spear or anything like that so that's good clearly they have a play with fire though so that's a bit of a bummer. I'm surprised I didn't play it there to blow up the Bond Warden. <clears throat> All right, we've got an interesting choice we have here with the uh, Might or the Bond Warden. I'm going to go with the Might, though. I want to try to protect my board here. The opponent obviously can go ahead and blast zone us away for the one, uh, which would be a bit of a bummer, I can't lie. It's a pretty good uh, card to play out on turn two there for a land. All right, we see some blue come down. Okay. All right, unfortunately, we don't find a land, but we do find the next best thing, which is a Gallic Greeters. Obviously, the treasures will be very helpful for us uh, going forward. And the opponent does have some form of uh, removal, which looks like they might be targeting the Bond Warden, which is kind of strange. Yeah, you would definitely want to target the Might. Or not. Okay. Okay. So many people these days have been, you know, walking into that, which is kind of strange. Um, just last game when I was playtesting the build, somebody did that. I think people forget that the might can protect. All right, good chance here that we lose the rest of the board to the blast zone. Uh, oh, the snare. Okay. That is a bummer because, again, that was going to be a way to, uh, for us to get around, you know, the unfortunate mana troubles we're having here. But the opponent is down to three cards in hand, so I feel pretty good about that. Hopefully we should be okay. All right, they're working off oil counters, by the way. The monument is kind of crazy. All right, not our best game. Obviously getting mana screwed a little bit here. Probably shouldn't have kept the two land hand, but it is what it is. We're still, I think, ahead of the opponent right now, believe it or not. All right, that's a creature land, right? It sure is. Scry one is a two one. Okay. All right, we get a land and we are able to get the treasure off the Gallic Readers. Double whammy. Let's go. Let's go. The sooner we can get into the Sovereign, the better. This card is insane. This card really takes this deck to a whole nother level, man. All right, let's pump up the NM, which is fantastic too, getting us more bodies on the field. Uh, um, activating, obviously, the Gala Greeter some more. Fantastic. All right, and then the only thing I'd be worried about here is a sweeper of some sort. Chamil's not that scary right now. It's going to take some time before they see a ton of value in that. They're going to get a discover, though. Let's see what they hit. 
be out of yeah, okay so far. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. All right, let's. Gosh, of course, that'd be a tap land. I wanted to get the Valkyrie down here and try to close out quickly, but uh, this will have to do. This will have to do. All right, let's get the treasure. And then we attack. Oops, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I did not mean to attack with the might there. I was trying to pull it back before uh, I declared those attackers. I must've double clicked a little bit too fast there. We might be giving up something here on a mistake on a misclick there. That's a bummer. Hopefully not. I mean, the uh, Sovereign has Ward 2, which is nice. So it's going to be... Okay, they're going to try to take out all the ones. That's fine. Well, that worked out then, didn't it? That's totally fine. Because the, I'm, I'm assuming they thought the tokens were going to go with that. But tokens are actually counted as zero, which gets around Blast Zone very nicely. But there it is. There's a kill spell, which we would not have been able to avoid anyways. Because we would have lost um, our Might in the Blast Zone. So it's all good. But there's the scoop. GG's. The opponent didn't want to see the next attack. There wasn't much they can do. We were going to double the power too on the Anim. So good first game, even though we got a little bit mana screwed. All right, solid first game. And now we've got a really interesting first hand here. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be able to draw cards almost immediately, which is great. Um, assuming we obviously get an on tap land for turn two, hopefully. All right, I really do want to see that turn two land, though. If I can get the Gallic Greeters out on curve, I'd feel a lot better. Obviously, going against Demir, it's a bit scary because the opponent could have um, those cutdowns, go for the throats, those types of things. A one-mana spell, though, Otherworldly Gaze. Okay, so this might be Soul Tie, and they might be trying to do the reanimation stuff. About to find out. Only sending two cards away. Yeah, this is definitely Soul Tie reanimation. And we're off to a bit of a slow start, so that's a bummer. All right, we gotta get moving here. Let's go. Gala Greeters into Double Brawler next turn. I'll take it. Double Brawler. I'm slightly distracted if I keep looking down here. I've got uh, the Phoenix Suns game on right now, and I'm. They're just about to start. Let's go, Suns! We need a W here, man. Sorry if you're a Lakers fan out there. Hopefully, this age as well. <laughs> okay, doing some more milling here. What do they have to reanimate here? So far, a Titan of Industry is their best card. Which, believe it or not, is not as scary as it could be. I mean, we have a really solid board here, especially when these things start to grow. It's going to get kind of crazy. So first things first, we grab a treasure because we want to make sure both these brawlers get the benefit out of the Gallic Greeders counter. Boom, boom. Let's go. And no attacks here because I can't afford to lose the Gallic Greeders, which is crazy that a little 1-1 one, one is going to do that much damage to us here. Here it comes. They got the Tolvada first and then they're going to get the Titan. Right? It's a Titan, right? That's the lob they have there? Yeah, Titan of Industry. Let's see what they do. I mean, they've got choices for sure, but not too many great ones. Destroying Artifact isn't going to do them a whole lot, so... They go with Shield Counter. Alright. Another Vermin. Those are actually really annoying. All right, another land. Uh, let's see. We'll start it off with this. Let's get a tre- No, 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 not a treasure. We're not going to be able to play this, huh? Okay, let's get a counter, which pumps up the other brawlers. Um, Is there any reason to attack here? I mean, to attack here would mean to give the Anim a counter, which would give these a counter. 
and we get a 1-1, but I don't think that'd be very wise. If I'm being honest, I think we got to pass the turn and just bide our time here a little bit. Hopefully there's no sweepers incoming. I don't think there will be. Let's see if we find any sweepers in the graveyard here. I don't see any. I think we're good there. I really would have liked to have gotten a Nimitz first counter, though. I need to find an Ozolith, man. We need to get some Ozolith action going here. No permanents worth bringing back, really. <clears throat> Other than that, yeah, they can mill out themselves a little bit more. Maybe find more targets. What'd they find here? Oh, they found an Atraxa and an Emergence. That's not good. That is about as bad as it gets right there. Sheesh. Yeah, we can't let that flip either, can we? Wow. This is tricky. Hmm. We don't have much of a choice, do we? Because that's trample. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to let that go. I hate to see it, but you know, I got to let it go. That's a bummer. Okay. Let, oh, this is actually really good. Okay, let's do uh, the Bond Warden. Let's give the 1-1 one, one counter. And give one here. That's huge. That's huge. Let's go. We're finally cooking here. We're finally cooking something up here. Uh, let's go ahead and get a treasure. Attack, attack. And then we're looking to draw a card here too, which is great. Um, if we can draw a card, because we we just played our uh, Cutsole here, so if one of these lands a shot here, we'll be able to get an extra card. Wow, they send everything over there, huh? Five, six, seven, eight, nine with the uh, okay. Is there any way I can get an extra counter placed onto that somehow? I don't think so. Wow, they take three. Right, they go down to three, though. That's kind of crazy. That's a pretty big swing right there. But there goes the Brawler. Really needed that. Oh my gosh, that's a card. That is a card and a half. Because what I could do here is I can use it to pump up the Brawler. Giving it uh, first strike. Does it get first strike? I think it's No, just indestructible. Dang it trying to get around the Atraxa's um, life gain. Um, if I could have, you know, give it first strike, I can smash through, but this does not give first strike. Yeah, Atra Atraxa is going to be the issue here. Atraxa is going to be the, the real issue that I got to try to get around with all that extra life gain. Hmm. I don't know. Can I play it twice? I could play it twice, couldn't I? Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have exactly enough. Okay, so we could give this flight and give this flight and then try to smash through. This is gonna have reach though. Dang it, everything's kind of throwing me off here. Wow, okay, well, that unfortunately just might have sealed the deal for us here. I don't know, we are going really wide though with the Anim, maybe. And they send an attack through. They're going to trade a Titan of Industry blocker to get another 2-1 flyer. I like that. Especially because this gives a uh, trample, you know, a lot less damage they can absorb here. That's good, man. That's good. That's good. Um, we might be able to pull this off, man. I don't. We're not going to be able to do this twice, unfortunately, but... But, shoot, what's better? What's better? Do I go with this first or do I go with this twice? Um, okay, so this gives two counters, right? Going to five. Going to six. Six and five. No, then they gain seven. Yeah, this is probably better. Probably go for the more of a, a, a long game here. Let's give counters here. Let's go like so. Now remember, this has Trample, which is great. And we're going to be able to produce a lot of these little 1-1s. One -ones. I mean, this game is kind of kind of wild, I'm not going to lie. This is a kind of wild game right now. 
We got a 10, 11, a Nim with indestructibility. Currently, it's got indestructibility, but that's to, you know, for the end of the turn. Hopefully, Bitter Triumph doesn't make another hit here. They've already played two, right? We've seen one. Just one? Oh, maybe they replayed it. I don't know. They're forced to block with the Atraxa. We love that. We do love that. Absolutely massive. All right, they're going to gain a lot of life, though, here. We're going to draw a card. Beautiful. We could use the land. Okay. Okay, moment of truth. They're able to reanimate the Atraxa, which is a bummer. Let's see if they do that. They also have the uh, Jenga Taxis, which I don't think is going to help them too much here. I think they'd rather reanimate. Yeah. Uh oh. I mean, yeah, you can have that. I don't know why in the world you do that over the Atraxa. Yeah, that seems like a mistake to me. I think we might have just won the game off of that. They are going to have some flyers coming down that have lifelink. Let's not forget. But the trample off of the ignition is should be more than enough here. What a game though, huh? What a crazy game going up against a, uh, a very interesting build, man. I've, I've, uh, I made a deck just like this myself. All right. So they're tapped out, right? So, I mean, seems like the right idea, right? All right, here we go. This should do it, man. Spread the love out a little bit here. Seems pretty good to me. Oh, does Angel Fire Ignition not give flying? Why did I think it gives flying? Could have swore I said that at the beginning too that I was gonna get flying, which is not the not the case actually. All right, we're gonna gain a lot of life. I don't think they can absorb all of this even with all the life gain. I mean, they are gaining six, but yeah, too much. Too much damage. Let's go, dude. What a win, man. What a, uh, a nail biter. Crazy. Crazy good game, man. Okay, well, the suns aren't starting off too hot, but uh, we are in the game. <laughs> so that's all that matters. That's all that matters. We got a pretty good start here with this opening hand. Everything is like, I keep getting games with slow lands, though. Even in pre-recording, I was getting nothing but like my slow lands. Maybe I got to adjust those. I don't know what. I've got it like... I gotta go check them out. Yeah, I don't know how many fast lands versus slow lands I have, but I do need to mix it up because we are getting killed on turn two curves here. Oh boy, what's the opponent gonna take here? Don't have much for removal, so that bat's gonna be there for a while. They get their choice here. Oh, they're really thinking about this. Uh, yeah, that's probably the right card. That's what I would have taken. Let's, um, let's get down to Gallic Greeters and hope that we can land a shot here uh, with the plus one one counter. But I mean, the opponent running Esper Colors, I doubt it. They're probably either going to get a big body like Rafine out there to block or they're going to kill my Gallic Greeters. So either way, it's probably not going to be great. Okay, that's actually not terrible. That's not terrible because I can at least get my attack through pretty confidently here. Um, let's go ahead and uh, play this. Go here. I'm absolutely getting flooded, by the way, which is never fun. Let's see if we can't get another card here. Let's go. They give us another card. Huge. It's a good one. Okay, it's a good card. Okay, they kill it now, um, which is good. I mean, for them to use that up on their turn, I'll take it. I'll take it. I can cycle this, but then I won't be able to use the ignition. So it's kind of give or take here. What do we want to do? The opponent could kill us at instant speed too in response to us playing the angel fire ignition. That doesn't feel great. Not anymore though. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go Bond Warden here. Let's just pump everything into the Galley Greeters here, I think. Get the 1-1 counter and then Angel Fire as well. Seems good to me. Or I could even activate this. That's a possibility. It comes in as what? A 2-2? Two, two? No, I can't really activate it, can I? Oh, it's only a 3, man. Okay, yeah, I could. 2-3. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Let's go. They want to make, they might want to make that trade and I'm okay with that. I'm going to give the bond warden some one, one counters here so it can make some decent blocks here against these one ones, as well as, you know, the fact that it can transfer its one, one counter over to the galley greeters after. All right. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot that they can crew up that schooner. That's tough. Looks like we are going to, in fact, lose that land. That was a mistake on my end for sure. Yikes. Forgot about that. Should have gone Angel Fire. That's a bummer. That's on me. Alright, the opponent though having a lot of mana to work with here. Now they have a Schooner out there which can allow them to explore which is pretty solid man. When you crew that thing for one, for one token is pretty high value. There's the Rafine. I knew it was coming sooner or later. Yeah, this one's not looking so great. I definitely made a pretty big error with that attack too, which I'm not super proud of. Rafine's going to make this really, really difficult because it's going to pump up their field quite a bit. And we got, you know, flooded early on too, which didn't help. All right. And they find a Denik on top. All right, and then they pump up the Schooner. It can hit for two here, so it could potentially go up to a five. They go to four five. Okay, that's fine. Um, do I pass over the Bond Warden's power now? I think it's fine. I mean, it's good now as it's good now as it ever is. Okay, so we go to five five. I need some help from our top decks, though. They got to be pretty spot on here going forward. That ain't it, Chief. That ain't it, Chief. We're going to keep growing the Galley Greeters, though. Stay true to the plan here, which is to absolutely smash the opponent's face. Even if it is with a Galley Greeter <laughs> and only a Galley Greeter. Uh, we'll take it. It is what it is. Dang, dude. What a bad game. What a bad game. All right, we got the indestructibility now. So, I mean, if they want to go for a kill spell now of all times, I mean, for sure. For sure, we'll take it. Nope, they just go down to nine. We go up to 25. There's hope, man. There's hope. Such a small bit of hope, but there is hope. I see, I see. Okay, they took some damage for that. It's a pretty big deal. Because... Angel Fire Ignition gives Trample, which could be game-changing here, but I'm sure they're going to kill the Galley Greeters. We'll see. I sure hope not, though. I'm sure Rafine is going to cycle out so many cards here that it's almost impossible for them not to find some form of a kill spell here. Or that. Equally as bad as a kill spell, which is wild. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, that's probably going to be game. We'll let them go through this turn, though. If they attack over the top, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, we're, we're taking a lot of damage here. I don't know. I mean, we survived the turn, though, right? Do they gain any life here? They do. They gain two. Well, a lot more than two now. Yeah, this is probably a wrap. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. They could potentially hit for 23 and gain, you know, a boatload of life here. I think we're pretty safe to concede here. I'm going to go ahead and concede and get to the next game because I don't think there's a way out of this. And uh, I could save us some time and get us into some better, better situations here. Let's go ahead and keep it rolling. <laughs> All right. That's what we call a bad game right there. <laughs> okay. This is looking a lot better than the first one. No, the first game we just played. Well, that last game, I should say. 
All right. The Fector might actually gets to come down on curve as well as the Gala Greeters. That's pretty insane. I don't like that. That definitely means they have interaction, right? Got to be the cut down or duress, something like that. Cut down or duress are my two biggest guesses here. Unless they're an absolute mad lad who runs the eye. Oh, I didn't even think about the Evolve Sleeper. There's so many options here for turn one. Let's see. It is a Dross. Okay, that was the last thing I expected. Sheesh. Okay, well, going to be a lot of kill spells, I would imagine. Let's hope the Gallic Readers can make it through the turn. God, I hope so. God, save us all. Man, this opponent really taking their time with their turns here. Uh, Demir. Okay, we see some blue now. Oh, they're a poison deck. Okay, I guess that makes sense. The proliferation. I could have seen that coming, huh? If I would have just opened my eyes. All right, let's get the brawler down. Do some counter stuff. Boom, boom. The good news is, is I think we have a really, really good match here because the best way to deal with the poison deck is to move quickly, be more aggro than them, and, uh, you know, hopefully kill them before they poison you. And uh, we have a pretty fast deck, so I think we'll be all right. You know what's crazy is that actually helps me so much. That helps me so much because now I can get this down and then play the Brawler, which, you know, not bad. <laughs> pretty friggin' solid. So thank you, opponent. Appreciate that one. Down to 14 to two poison counters. I definitely think I'm winning this race. Oh, that's tough. Not gonna lie, that one's tough. No, they don't have... Okay, that's fine. I can live with that. I can live with that. Alright, let's try to get this down. It's got Ward 2, so it should be able to avoid any of these snares or nonsense. Okay, of course. Of course! How annoying. All right, back to it. <laughs> right back to where we were. Come on. Dude, of course they would have this. Like, why wouldn't they have this? Crazy. Absolute nonsense, man. All right. Let's cycle this. Hopefully we hit a good three drop here. No. No, no, no. Good news is the Ozolith just kind of keeps pumping damage for us here. And we actually get lethal on the dot. I did, thought maybe we were going to get hit with another snare or something, but we did see two. So thank goodness we're able to close there and it's a good GG's baby. All right. Good solid game right there. Um, the mana looks pretty good here. Again, a little bit slow if I want to go with the two drops first here, which I probably do. So we'll keep it. But um, I think we're going to prioritize the Ozolith here on two, which means we got to play out the uh, Sundown Pass first. And the opponent on some ores of. Man, the Ozolith has become such a uh, staple to this build, man. I, I, I only had two in the beginning of making this build and to, uh, went up to three. And then uh, I realized every time I didn't have it, uh, it was such a difference. So I went up to all four now and uh, it's been working really great. I love that you can cycle it away too. So you're never really out of a card really if you draw two of them. Okay, let's drop this and we'll go Brawler into a Bond Warden, which we'll get some counters, which will give the Brawler some counters and we're looking good now. Uh, they can't kill us with Tashiro. They're going to need something a little bit bigger than that. A little bit more big guns than that. Nice. I really thought we were going to lose something there, but we don't. Thank goodness for that. Uh, could do this, but I think that would be kind of a waste. I think we should honestly just pump this and swing through. Not drawing very well here. OK, 
Okay, the opponent does have a kill spell after all. What is it gonna be? Go for the throat? If they kill the Bond Warden, that would be a pretty big mistake in my opinion. I hope they do. If they kill either one of them here, the Bond Warden is the one I would prefer. Okay. So they take three damage to cast that spell. They are going to take four here. That is a huge bummer though, man. Losing out on the Brawler there is actually really tough. We got the Valkyrie in hand though. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh boy. Oh, they can steal the Ozolith? That's crazy. Okay. I like that. That'll be helpful down the stretch. For now though, we go with this. Get some damage in there. Then we can go Defector Might and then uh, maybe just do the Crucible and get it out of our hand here. Throw some 1-1s one -ones at him. A little extra damage would never hurt anybody. I just, I really hope they don't have too much more spot removal, to be honest. It's a very strange build they've got going on here right away. The Sentry, Tashiro, and then a Triumph, which means they probably want to be playing off their graveyard, you would think, right? I get the Ozolith back. I guess that's something. I guess that's something. Still pumping out some damage, too, which is great. Um... I mean, another sweeper would be unfortunate, but even then, I still think we'd be okay. If they don't sweeper the board, I got the Ozlet to pump up the 1-1 one, one into a 3-3. Three, three. Taking them down to 2, potentially. We've got to draw something worthwhile, right? I mean, our draws have been pretty bad. Something suspicious is going Just been a lot of mana. Once, That's fault. fine. I can live with that. We all have things I can absolutely happen. live with that. Ugh, unreal. Oh, uh, maybe the draws won't get any better. <laughs> okay, we'll go here. And that will put them on the lethal clock here. If they don't have a sweeper, I can protect everything with the Skrelv's Might. So we should be fine against spot removal. It's just a sweeper that we got to worry about. Because then I can pump up the other 1-1 one, one into a 3-3. Three, three, and that is technically lethal. Assuming I don't have to use the Might to protect. Or if they don't kill the Might. Okay. Of course we draw land. Okay, well. They're at six. I actually have lethal. What am I saying here? I forgot they took one damage there to... Oh, no, we don't have lethal. What am I... Shoot. Do we? They have to block here. I can get this protection from where I get through, but then they just block here. Okay, I don't have lethal, unfortunately. What's the best way to do this? I guess that. It's a very awkward turn here. It really is. I mean, us drawing another land there was so not helpful, but um, take the five. Okay. <sighs> Such a bummer, man. What a terrible draw. I mean, the draws have just been garbo. All right, surely no sweeper here, right? Surely not. We're down though. They only got one. I mean, all I got to do. Oh, let's go. Okay, we got it. Whew. Nice. Solid GG's right there, man. I'll take it. That was a little nerve wracking. I thought for sure. I mean, we were going to get hit with another sweeper, but nope, that's not the case. I still don't really quite understand what they were trying to do there, but um, good game, I guess. That'll do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching today's video. We'll be back again here tomorrow with another video for you, as well as a live stream tonight. If you guys want to come check it out, I'm actually going to be playing against you guys. It'll be an absolute blast. But uh, 
that does it for us today. I hope you enjoyed today's list. I thought it was pretty solid all around a well-rounded aggro build. And uh, I really enjoyed this one, man. Some new cards that uh, really helped this deck out quite a bit. Still not too sure about the, uh, what is it, the Cutsel? Uh, but I definitely like the Sovereign, man. That card is insane to double up on the counters and everything else is just absolutely chef's kiss in this build but uh, i had a lot of fun i hope you did as well we're gonna get out of here but huge thank you and shout out to the mardu mob if you guys don't know the mardu mob is the membership program on this channel so huge shout out to everybody out there who is watching who is part of the mardu mob and helping support this channel i really do appreciate you guys so much for everything you do for me but that does it for me today guys we'll see you tomorrow until next time peace out Hit him three times like a hat trick. Yeah. The name is says you know Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic, yeah, that's magic. Yeah. Ooh. FTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best decks, but the meta. This ain't